discover something unexpected. Fear. She flinches as layers of her psyche peel back revealing the scars of a life spent anticipating a knife in the back. The memories of countless dead slain too soon, not just enemies, but family, friends, lovers. Speak to me. Tell me what is in your heart. No. I want the truth. I want to hear it in your voice, not in my mind. The Absolute owns my mind. I cannot remember a time when her voice did not fill it. Except tonight. Tonight, the Absolute was silent. I only heard your breath and your voice. How is that possible? The artifact pulses softly, sending out a warning. It is a friend. blasphemy but so much that has happened since I left the underdark is like a dream of somebody else's life I do not know myself anymore except tonight tonight I wanted this for myself I must pray and you must rest tomorrow we will have fresh orders. In your dream, you stand over yourself as you sleep. A knife in your hand. Murder in your heart. You are ready to strike, to end your own life. But then a shock runs through your mind. This is no dream. Wake up, true soul. We must talk. I watched over you as you slept, peaceful and silent. And I spoke to our god. I asked her why she had chosen you, made you one of her faithful, when you are so clearly broken. Beautiful, but broken. There is something missing in you. And I do not understand it. When the Absolute failed to answer me, I feared that you had somehow infected me with that same absence. And so I decided that you must die. But then, a miracle happened. As I took out my blade, her voice returned to me. And she told me what I must do to purge myself of doubt. She told me to decide your fate. To determine if you are worthy. If you are, I am to send you into her embrace. At the seat of her power. I believed for a moment that we might share a path. But I still sense that absence inside you. And I fear it. I take no pleasure in what I must do. 
In another life, I would have taken you as my consort in Menza Baranzan. It is time. Kill them! Try something else.
existence is blasphemy. Taking position. is secure. Blood soaked, but secure. Peel back, 
revealing the scars of a life spent anticipating a knife in the back. The memories of countless dead slain too soon. Not just enemies, but family, friends, lovers. Speak to me. Tell me what is in your heart. I could say the same of you. There is something about you that disturbs me. The moment we were alone together, something changed. I felt it, and you must have felt it too. The Absolute fell silent. How is that possible? The artifact pulses softly, sending out a warning. It is a friend. Quiet. If she hears you, she will kill us both. I have felt her love, but I have also seen her wrath. Those who turn from her grace die screaming. If this is a lie, it is a dangerous one. Show me. It screams. It silences the absolute, and it screams. What is it? What are you? In your dream, you stand over yourself as you sleep. A knife in your hand. Murder in your heart. You are ready to strike, to end your own life. But then a shock runs through your mind. This is no dream. Good. You're awake. I want to taste your fear. That might be, but you have not been truly tested yet. But you will be, and soon. I am curious to see if you survive. I watched over you as you slept, peaceful and silent. And I spoke to our god. I asked her why she had chosen you, made you one of her faithful, when you are so clearly broken. Beautiful, but broken. There is something missing in you. And I do not understand it. When the Absolute failed to answer me, I feared that you had somehow infected me with that same absence. And so I decided that you must die. But then, a miracle happened. As I took out my blade, her voice returned to me. And she told me what I must do to purge myself of doubt. She told me to decide your fate. To determine if you are worthy. If you are, I am to send you into her embrace. At the seat of her power. In time, I believe we may be together. 
Travel to Moonrise. We will meet again there, at the heart of the Absolute's power. To gather our forces in this region. They're ill-disciplined. Without a strong hand, they'll disperse. The Absolute has spoken to you already, in whispers. But at Moonrise, you will be in her presence. She will test you. If you fail, you will break. If your faith is strong, you will become something greater than yourself. With difficulty, but I can help. The land around Moonrise is cursed. Traveling there will sap your strength and your sanity, but I can protect you. A wretched creature in my service can guide you through the curse. This harp will summon him. Play it when you are in the shadows and he will come to you and know that you are a friend. His minions will wait for you at the mountain pass on the threshold of the shadow curse. I warn you, he is quite mad, but he knows the path to Moonrise better than anyone. Go to him when you are ready. I will lead what remains of my forces to Moonrise ahead of you. <sighs> when we next meet, we will be together in the Absolute's presence, and she will make us her champions.